Hello mate, how have you been? Hope you are all okay. Today, I came up with a very useful tutorial which will help you to schedule a process or a job to start its operation on a specific time. Scheduling of a task is a feature in UiPath Studio that provides the ability to schedule a process to be executed at predefined time or after a specified time intervals for the current user. Let's take an example to understand it in more realistic way. So, if you are working in any of the organization, you might receive few emails in midnight or maybe in the morning before you came into the office. For example, I can say the birthday celebration mail or maybe new join email or sign out mail of the last working day. Most of them are managed by some of the scheduler and it just come with a regular interval and on a specific day, right? For example, you don't receive a birthday celebration mail on Sunday. Why such thing happen? And the answer I think you all know is the scheduler job. Someone of us must have configured those in a such way so that we are receiving those mail on certain fashion. So today we will do the same task by using the orchestrator scheduler operation. So let's start and let's see how we can do this. So first I will prepare a very simple example using the UiPath Studio. Then I will try to deploy or uh, connect it to the orchestrator and I will schedule it and we will show you how to schedule a particular process so that it can operate on a specific time. Okay. So let's just create a process and give a name. In this case, I'm giving hello world and pressing on the create button. Now, I'm opening the main workflow and then I will bring a sequence into the main activity, main uh, workspace. Now I will type message box from the activity pane, message and we'll get the message box just dragging into the sequence. And within the uh, space I will write in double quotes, hello world. Okay, so that is done. Now what I will do, there is an option uh, at the top right to publish this project. So you have to publish this. So just click on this and then we will get a box where it is written the published to the orchestrator and it will get the current version and the new release version is 1.0.1 .1 and there are some other attributes are there and uh, you will get a release note you can write any note for that particular version so I will write this is first version and then I will publish it so publication has been successfully done so you can see it it's clicking ok and then I will go to my orchestrator I will go to the browser and I will type platform.uipath.com and login page will appear just login with your credentials you don't have the credential just uh, sign up and you will get the credential I'm just logging with my existing credential okay so uh, uh, it has been logged in properly now what I will do I will go to the service just a second I will go to the service and I will you will get to see there is a hyperlink with my username just I'm clicking on this so a new tab appear uh, so the dashboard you can see so there are some jobs and the robots are there so you can see one robot is deployed and there are jobs 88 successfully job 35 job has faulted and there are few jobs have been stopped so this was the jobs previously I did now one thing you have to do to do you have to connect your orchestrator with the uh, UiPath robot. Before doing this example, you have to connect your orchestrator with the robot. So, how you can do this? There is a separate video that I have 
I will give the link with uh, the description section. Uh, you can follow it or otherwise you can find it from my channel uh, tutorials. Okay. So you must have to do this uh, before doing this thing. Okay. Now I will create on the process. I will uh, just click on add button. Then from the drop down you can see that particular uh, project name hello world which I have created and published. So just select this and automatically the version number has been fetched that is 1.0.1 and the environment which I have set up so I am selecting the environment from the list so it will automatically appear ok now what I will do I will just click on the create button the process has been successfully created now I will go to the job so from job I will just click on that button and then uh, I will select the process name which uh, already created with the project name and the underscore environment. Then you can see the robots that are available. So I have a robot available for this is with the name fast robot and I am selecting this thing and creating on the start. So then uh, automatically it will perform the operation. You can see the output of it. Now we will go to the scheduler and click on the plus button. I will just I want to schedule it. Just give any convenient name that you uh, uh, require. So here I am just giving hello world. You can see the hello world has been executed. So just skipping for the time being. Just putting a name hello world and select the process that is hello world underscore environment from the drop down it has been automatically populated just being I am uh, selecting my time zone so you can see there is a option Chennai Kolkata Mumbai I am just selecting this and then there are some other options like minute hours daily weekly month advance so uh, you can check any uh, anything that you required in daily section if you can see the every day and which time and if you can select the weekly you will see the options of each day so I am selecting Monday to uh, Friday, I am just not selecting on uh, Saturday and Sunday because on those days I don't want to run that process. Okay. Now I am giving the time at which time it will, whatever you can even give, maybe 10, 10, or I am just uh, giving a convenient time so that it can just execute uh, within a few seconds. So let me just put accordingly. Okay. and then I am pressing the create button so now you can check that it has been scheduled and it will run next time is in a few seconds so that is going to run within a few seconds I have just given a convenient time so that you don't have to wait ok now you can see that it has uh, been executed successfully so orchestrator called that process which ha I have been written the uh, UI path studio so that is uh, properly uh, actually connected uh, by the uh, orchestrator and that has been executed so whenever we have scheduled so uh, in my case what I have given the example so I have already selected for uh, all days except uh, Saturday and Sunday so this process automatically will call on that particular time which I have mentioned over there at 2.8 uh, pm so it will every day Monday to Friday it will just uh, trigger and it will start performing its operation whatever uh, there will be in the, that particular program ok so hope you understand how to do this and definitely you have to follow one thing before doing this scheduler operation you must have to connect your orchestrator with the robot and how you can connect your orchestrator with robot you will find one of my tutorial and I also will give the link within uh, the uh, comment section or maybe the description section. just follow it and if uh, you find this is a useful so just subscribe my channel or you can contribute any comments if you want to have any questions that ask me so bye for now I will come up with another video so good